How's everybody doing today? This is Noah with The Life of the Zigs, and on today's video, we're gonna be checking out how you can make your hardwired smart switches into wireless smart switches and control them from anywhere with this device right here. So let's get started. So we're gonna be checking out these smart devices made by Tapu. I believe they are an Amazon brand. They also are affiliated with TP-Link, which is what all my smart switches are. And what this device is gonna enable you to do is to be able to control any of those smart switches from this device right here, which is wireless and just requires a battery. So let's say I wanna put my switch just right here by the garage door to control something. I could just take it and stick it right there and it actually has a magnet on it. I can magnet it to something and I have a button right there that can turn the device on and off and dim it. So when it comes to why I wanna use this is I have a smart switch that's located up in my attic in my garage that controls a floodlight outside. So whenever I need to get to that, I either need to go on my phone and turn it on or I need to go up into the attic and turn it on. But when you're in your garage, your hands are getting all dirty and filthy, sometimes I just don't wanna grab my phone or sometimes I just wanna be real quick and turn it on, not have to dig through an app or ask Alexa three or four times to turn on the device. And the other thing is when I have guests over or anything like that and they wanna turn on that light, they don't know the commands usually. So what, that's what this device right here will allow to do. Also, in order to use this switch right here, you also need to have the hub for it, which can connect up to 64 devices that are related to Tapu. And also it goes with any of their other devices that they have, such as security systems, other switches, and things like that. So let's crack open the box now. So we're gonna start off opening this one right here. I'll move this off to the side. In the box, slides all out. You have the wall plate right here. You have the switch that just fell out. And that again, magnets to things. So I could put it right here and it magnets to that. You also have some hardware in here that I hear jiggling around. Here's that hardware, some adhesive and some screws. You have a labeling kit to label what it is. And of course, the instruction manual. Now let's open the hub up, instruction manual and the hub itself, and that's it. Now that everything's all opened up, let's get to installing it. So the first step I need to do is download the app for these Tapu devices. I've never owned a Tapu device, so I'm gonna scan the QR code and it's gonna take me to where I need to go. So we're gonna scan the QR code. I'm gonna open it up in Chrome. We're gonna hit get, give it a second to download. All right, so the app's downloaded, hit open. Allow for notifications. We're gonna to go to settings and make sure it allows local network. Local network is on. I've already given permission. Confirm to join and accept the terms. Now I do have TP-Link products, so I'm gonna to try to log in with an ID that I think will work. All right, so my TP-Link login worked with the Tapu, so you don't need to create a new account if you have TP-Link stuff already. Talking about widgets right now, I'm not gonna worry about that and it actually shows all of my lights that I already have, which is cool. I guess this is a new app. Tapu, I think, is new compared to just the TP-Link Casa switches, which is what I currently have. I think Tapu is the less expensive version of them. I'm not really sure. Uh, comment down below if you know exactly what it, which way it goes. I'm not too sure in that. However, I got all my lights on here already, which is perfect. So now we need to plug in the smart hub. So let's go do that. So I have an outlet right here and I have a router right here. I have a three piece router system. That's why my garage has pretty good internet. So I'm gonna plug this in right here. We're gonna let it start up. It took a couple of seconds for it to start up, but when it's blinking blue and orange, that means it's ready to set up. So now I'm gonna go back into the Tapu app. I'm gonna hit the add button, add device. Make sure my local network is on, it's already on. I'm gonna click on hub and home base. I have the Tapu H100, so I'm gonna click on that. Uh, it's already blue and orange, so we're gonna click yes. We're gonna click allow while using app. Now it wants me to go to my Wi-Fi and connect to that device on the Wi-Fi. Go to my settings, Tapu hub, click on that. Make sure it connects first. Once that's connected, we're gonna go back. The app recognized it, they found it. Select your local network for it and put in your password and it's gonna to connect to the network. Now you need to name your device. I'm gonna just do Smart Hub Garage for now. Custom location, again, I'm gonna put Garage and it wants an icon, I'm just gonna leave it the hub. And it says we're almost done, check firmware. 
I need to update it, so we're gonna update real quick. Firmware is now installed. <clears throat> it says, congratulations, you're ready to go. We're gonna hit sounds good. And it has an update time, which is between three and 5 a.m., which works for me. Now it wants to add a device to the hub. I'm gonna hit Tapu S200B. And right now it wants to power up this device, so we're gonna take this, pull the blue tab. Blue tab's pulled. Hit next. Check the status on it. Once a LED blinking green, I'll show that to you guys real quick. We're gonna acknowledge that that LED is blinking green. It's gonna connect it to the hub. Name your device, which I'm gonna name it Smart Button Side Garage Floodlight. And we're gonna keep that in the garage. Keep that device and check firmware. Update the firmware on it. Firmware is good, we're gonna go next. Congratulations, it's set up and ready to enjoy. We're gonna hit Placement guide just to see. It has wall plate options. You can use the adhesive provided or use the screws to place it. So I'm gonna show you guys where I'm gonna place this real quick. So I'm gonna place the switch right here. The side garage floodlight is right on the outside here. So this is a perfect placement for coming in and out of the garage and if you need to turn on the side floodlight right there. I'm also only gonna use the adhesive strips for this. So right here, you're gonna peel one off. You're gonna place it on your wall plate. Place the other one on the wall plate. Both of them are placed. Peel the backers off. Now when placing this, I would definitely grab a level and make sure the tapu is facing upright. That's level right there. Place it. And that's good to go. Continuing, we're gonna hit done. Secure your tapu account. With two-step verification, I'll do that real quick. So right here on the app, it says Tapo now supports Costa devices, which I guess that's why all my Costa devices popped up on this app. So link Tapo with Casa. I'm gonna make sure to link them. And we're gonna hit next, success, everything's linked. We're gonna hit close and perfect. So smart button garage is now down at the bottom of the app. I clicked on it and now it wants smart actions. So Right here it says light control via smart button or you can tap to alarm. So right now I'm gonna take this and magnet it right here. So that's where the button's gonna stay. And again, like I said, you can take it off. It's a magnet so it sticks to anything metal, which is really nice. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it right here. So before we do Alexa, we need to set it up with matter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to device settings and we're gonna hit bind to matter. So we're gonna go to Alexa, we're gonna hit yes it does, yes it is on. We're gonna try the numeric code, enter that code. We're gonna hit next. It's gonna look for the device. It says the device was found, we're gonna hit next. And we're gonna rename it to Garage Hub. Hit update name, done. Now we need to hook the switch up to Alexa. We're gonna go to the app, we're gonna go to skills and games. And that's when we're gonna type in Tapu. Popped up. We're gonna enable use. Agree and link. It says it's been successfully linked. It's gonna look for devices. Two devices found. It's found the hub and the button. So we're gonna do the floodlight. Next. So we're gonna set up a routine. So when the button is pressed, I'm gonna hit add action. I'm gonna to go to my smart home. I'm gonna to go to my switches. I'm gonna click on side garage floodlight. And when it is pressed, it's gonna turn it on. Choose button. It wants me to choose a button, so I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna click on smart button side garage floodlight. And we're gonna do a tap, and that will power it on. Routine successfully created. We're gonna hit another routine because we need to be able to turn it off. So we're gonna scroll all the way down again. Side garage button, a double tap. We'll have it set up so it turns the light off. Select what switch you want. I want the side house floodlight. We're gonna hit off and we'll hit save. We will hit later and we'll hit continue. Now the smart garage hub, it should already be set up. So I just hit continue and it's showing it twice. So I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe because I connected it through matter and then this. So we'll see if that's an issue. But again, it is just the hub, so I'm not too worried about it. So everything's all set up now, so let's give it a try. So just for the sake of being able to show you guys how it works, I have the button in my hand right in it here, so I'm gonna hit it once. The light is now on. There's a little bit of a delay, a couple second delay, and I'm gonna hit it twice. 
I'm gonna hit it twice again. So the single tap's working fine, but the double tap I'm having issues with right now. So I figured out what was wrong. You actually need to add and enable the double tap feature. So you'll go to the app, you'll click on the button itself, top right corner, and you wanna turn on the double tap, which I already turned on, but that's how you get to it. So now take your button, turn it on. It's on again, a few second delay, and to turn it off, double tap and your lights off. Just to show you guys, I have the button here. I'm gonna turn it on. Light turned on, double tap off, and it turned off. And I'm about uh, 30, 40 feet away from my garage. All right, so this is a pretty cool product. I highly recommend you picking one up if you need it. Remember, this is Alexa controlled, so it's almost uh, unlimited on what you can do with it because you can create actions for it, whether it be single tap, double tap, rotating it clockwise or rotating it counterclockwise. You can do a lot with it. I'm definitely gonna pick one of these lights up for my counter lights inside, which will allow me to control those lights from a switch and not just voice control, which will be nice. And I could also dim them with it too, so that'll be really nice. If you guys want this product, be sure to check out the description down below. I'll have a link to both the Smart Hub and the Switch, which again, you need both for this to work. And if you have any questions about this product, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll make sure to respond to you as quick as possible. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any products that you wanna recommend and want me to review and check out, just drop them down in the comments below and I'll get to them eventually. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your day.